okay so today we're gonna learn about a block called mo so the mo fall under category called motion okay motion block motion category and uh, this mo block is of type called stack okay so the stack means you can stack one block on a top of another block okay so let's say if you you can put uh, one block you can attach one block on the top of this and one block on the bottom of this okay now let's define uh, what is step means right so one step equal to one pixel okay now one pixel so let's define what pixel is so let's say um, I'm going to draw this small pixel on the screen okay so that means okay so first of all let's define what pixel is right so pixel is anything on your screen um, for example picture or video uh, anything you see on the screen they are made out of pixels okay so let's say you, these, these are all the four and this is the fifth one right these are all pixel so if you move anything from this pixel to this uh, uh, this point to this point it's called one step it's called one pixel from this point to this point one pixel this point to this point one pixel one step okay so one step equal to one pixel okay so let's now um, we are going to uh, draw one cat okay so this is your cat now this cat wants to move from point A to point B. Now assume that the distance between these two points is 25 steps or uh, 25 steps or 25 pixels. Okay. Now you can see on the top right so now this move block takes the argument or the number uh, equal to number of steps how many steps you want to move now in this case if you want to move from point A to point B there are 20 the distance is 25 uh, steps so you are going to change this value to 25 It's going to move this cat from here to here okay now you must be thinking now how do you make uh, how do you make this cat move from point B to point A again right so okay as you can see this value you are putting in uh, like a 25 it's positive you can also now to go back from point B to point A you can also say you can also enter negative 25 okay so you can also enter negative value inside this box so to move forward you enter positive value for example positive 25 to go back from B to A you enter negative 25 okay okay now one more thing um, I want to explain here is that when you move anything from this point to this point it moves any sprite you want to move from this point to this point it moves uh, in a direction of uh, the sprite is facing okay so let's say direction means okay we will look into um, in, a in a couple of uh, next tutorials where um, the sprite or let's say you have a cat by default it's pointing to a 90 degree okay so when you move it will move into this direction if they are facing on this direct di direction then this when you move uh, a sprite it will move to this direction right so um, e exactly so now let's say uh, if they are facing on this direction 
right and uh, um, yeah so the, uh, the the cat will move into this direction and and vice versa okay so now you know what direction is of course we will go into detail in the next one um, so now you know that you can enter positive value and you can to go back you enter negative value okay so this is how the the basic uh, move steps block works um, and in a future video we're going to be looking at more advanced usage of uh, this uh, move block okay so yeah thanks for watching a video and let's uh, jump into uh, practical okay so now uh, we are into a practical of uh, this particular block called mo um, okay I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna put this back again uh, okay so this is a, just an example of uh, uh, when you create a default uh, project you will see one cat in a center of this stage so I just put this um, a and B just for a reference so we just know that we are moving from point A to point B okay so now let's say the distance between this point A and point B is around uh, uh, 200 steps okay so first let's double click uh, and uh, hold your left mouse button and hold this uh, block and you can move into your script area and you can also you can see you can zoom down you know, zoom in and zoom zoom uh, right so you can zoom in and zoom out okay just so you can see better okay now now uh, I think uh, I also explained before that any sprite you want to add a script to you have to select from the bottom you can see so see as soon as I select that this sprite uh, a and B the the, the move block uh, is gone because we added this move block to a cat sprite so you have to select the cat sprite and then you uh, add any script you want because you want to move a cat that's why you want to add any any script any block and so you have to select this particular cat or sprite okay now um, by default it if you double click this move step it's only only going to move 10 step right so when you double click double click double click it's moving the cat 10 step okay so I'm gonna okay so I'm gonna uh, put this cat back um, and now I'm going to change this value to 200 okay I'm going to double click okay so now as you can see the cat moved 200 steps right point from a point A to point B now to uh, I'm gonna okay I'm gonna take I'm going to take another block and I'm going to make a change to minus 200 right and I'm going to double click only this block again okay so you can, as you can see minus 200 now you you can go back okay so you can enter positive and you can enter negative value okay now um, okay so right now okay then another thing I explained on the uh, previous section is that whenever you move something right by default is moving toward uh, 90 degree okay in the next tutorial we will see how do you change the direction so it can move all on 45 degree it can move south it can move north uh, it can move east and west right so you can move a sprite in any direction but we will look into it in the next tutorial but for now you can see you can move uh, to move forward you enter positive value to uh, move backward you enter negative value okay so yeah this is a very basic uh, usage of a move block and uh, we will of course look into more detail uh, tutorial uh, in the next video or so so uh, yeah thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next uh, tutorial